This is a quick overview video on Magic's SoundForge Audio Studio version 14. I had a few questions, so I'll hopefully in this video I'm going to cover some of those questions and answer them for you in no particular order. The first one is that SoundForge Audio Studio, as far as I understand, the best audio driver that will work whether you are using your own board sound card on your computer or you are using an external audio interface is to use Windows drivers. From my personal experience, I did not have much luck using it with ASIO drivers. For that, I'm just going to go to Options, Preferences, I'm going to select Microsoft Sound Mapper. Now, even though I can select few others, including my ASIO driver, for some reason, some of the functions in Windows, meters, uh, display, timeline, they don't work as they're supposed to. But they will work perfectly under Microsoft Sound Mapper. So that's the first thing you need to check. If you are having audio issues, Select the Microsoft Sound Mapper. I know this will give you quite a bit of latency if you are using SoundForge Audio Studio 14 for recording purposes. You can try to reduce that. Maybe down to 20 seconds, thereabouts. And adjust that buffer setting to get the best result, the lowest latency, without any dropouts or pops and clicks. The next question is about meters. So if you are trying to record, you want to find out how you can actually see whether you are getting good levels when you are recording. Just going to close that instant action. The easiest way is to go into View, Window Layouts, and select Stereo Recording. This will set up your Windows layout that you have record options available and the input meters will appear here. I'm just going to create a new one and I've got Sound Mapper there all ready to go. Let's start recording. And here we can actually see the timeline as I record, as well as the level meters, telling me I'm just uh, nearly on the orange. So that's uh, the volume level. I can turn my volume down and you can see everything gets uh, lower as well. And for me, this is a good level. You don't want to get too loud because it can actually clip. And it's already telling you what's the peak value here is. Give yourself plenty headroom with the peak. Just going to click there to reset. Click there to reset, and I'm around minus, uh, minus 9, minus 8. And once we finish recording, I'm going to press stop. And now I can press play. And here at the bottom, I've got my loudness meter as well. So loudness range integrated is what you need to look for. So as, as I start playing... So that's how you can get your input levels and le output leveling and as well as your master level on the left. If you don't see them, you can actually go into view and there they are there. The loudness meters, record options, um, channel meters and so on. You can enable and disable them from here. I hope that answers uh, the two of the questions. Uh, which was on my videos on SoundForge Audio Studio version 14, 64-bit edition, running on Windows 10 operating system. If you have any further questions regarding Magic's SoundForge Audio Studio version 14, feel free to comment below and I will do a follow-up video and try to answer your questions. If this was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up 
And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music.